New to FTV drones? Whether you're dreaming of freestyle tricks or cinematic flights, well, it all starts with the basic controls. So let's get you in the air one step at a time with the VR drone from Nibi Drone. So let's go to see what's inside this $179 ready to fly kit. All right, let's go and see what's inside. As you guys can see, we got goggles right here and your controller right here or transmitter in better terms. Now you're probably wondering, where is the drone? Well, guess what? It's inside the goggles. Nibi Drone came up with a very clever design to store everything inside. As you guys can see, this little thing right here pops out. Next, that holds your drone, batteries, and your charger, which is Type-C, by the way. And then when you want to fly, if you want to fly solo FPV, you can go ahead and put these on. And if you want to just show friends and family, you can just take it off. And, you can, and everyone can see the screen. This drone is a perfect learning platform because of its extremely lightweight, 20 grams without a battery makes it super versatile and safe to fly around people and objects inside your house. If you guys have any general questions about the VR drone, Niva Drone made a YouTube playlist that can be accessed through this QR code that's in your kit for you to watch. But in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to fly FPV drones so you can transfer those skills and apply them to bigger and faster drones. A good example is once you learn how to ride a bicycle, you can basically ride any other bicycle that you'd like no matter what size or how fast you're going to learn everything that you need to know to start flying FPV drones from basic stick controls to modes to flying from line of sight to FPV so let's get started there are four different control configurations for operating RC models a majority of the FPV pilots including myself use mode 2 and we're gonna be showing you the controls for mode 2 on your transmitter, you're gonna see two sticks. When you're flying mode two, your left one is throttle, which causes the motors to speed up or decrease. Also, as you can see, it spins left to right. This is your yaw. On your right side, for your right stick, we have pitch, which causes the drone to lean forward or back. And if you go left to right, this is your roll. It causes your drone to roll to the right or roll to the left. Every FTV drone flies in three modes. We got angle, horizon, and acro. Angle mode, it auto levels your drone and it will not let you tilt too far. So it's great for beginners. Acro mode, there is no auto leveling at all. You control everything like a real FTV pilot. Harder, but gives you full freedom. Horizon mode, also auto levels your drone, but if you give full tilt on your stick, you will do a flip. So it's a mix of beginner and freestyle. Now that you know the main controls, let's get this drone up in the air. So if this is your first time flying, I highly recommend that you do this. Make sure that you start off somewhere with a soft landing. For example, grass. It's not real grass, but it's soft enough, better than concrete. Then you wanna go ahead and actually power on your transmitter first. After that, you wanna go and plug in your drone. Put it down on the ground, make sure it's flat. And if you are gonna do it in grass, make sure that there's no blades of grass going up into your propellers, because then that would just cause your motors to burn out. And you don't want that. So before you arm for beginners, we highly recommend that you start off in level mode. The drone is on the ground, it's at a flat surface, and we turn on the controller first. So now let's go ahead and arm. Make sure your throttle is all the way down because if your throttle is in the up a little bit, even a tiny bit, you will not be able to arm. So let's switch left to disarm, arm. Make sure it throws all the way down and you should be good to go ahead and fly. So the left stick, as you guys can see, if I go up, the drone goes up. If I go down, the drone goes down. And then if I go left on the left stick, that's yaw right there. It causes the drone to spin. So now the right stick, if I go forward, if I go forward, drone goes forward. If I go back, drone comes back. And if I tilt the right stick to the right and left, you got roll as you guys can see right there. One thing I do notice about a lot of beginner pilots is their throttle control as well. They do a bunch of this. They go up, drone goes up, go down, up and down. As you guys can see, that is not what you wanna do. Another thing is a lot of beginner pilots think that if you just leave the drone in the middle and you let go, it's gonna stay right there. Obviously that's not gonna happen. If I let go, it's just gonna go down. So with every FTV drone, with most drones, there's a sweet spot in the middle. You just want to do, you're going you're gonna to be adjusting it 
very very constantly to find that sweet spot once you find it you should be good to go and have a good altitude where you can maintain it so once you got comfortable with throttle pitch and roll and some yaw and you feel that you're ready to move on to the next step now this is where we go ahead and start switching modes you can go ahead and go to horizon mode and start doing some flips and that means grab your pitch grab your roll or your pitch and go all the way right and then once you see the drone flip go back to the middle and that's how you start doing flips in horizon mode and we're going to show you a quick demonstration and then you want to flip your right switch to the middle and now we're going to go ahead and put your throttle all the way down make sure your throttle is all the way down and you arm it remember guys throttle is all the way down go up and we're going to deflect the right stick all the way to the right of the roll. There we go. Now we start doing flips. You guys saw that we just did a little bit of angle mode and then we moved on to horizon after we got comfortable with the controls. Well, now we're ready to move on to like the final step, which is acro mode, which is what most pilots, including myself, fly in. And that's where you start to get more crazy and you have way more freedom in, up in the air. So let's go ahead and turn it on throttle stick all the way down and actually your right switch all the way left it turns off all the leveling that means that the drone's not gonna self level you're in control of everything it's fully manual now well, let me go and show you what I mean so we're gonna go up and we're gonna go a little bit forward the drone's not gonna come back unless I make it come back this is fully manual now for those of you wondering now that you're in acro mode does it correct itself after you do a flip it does not you have to correct it yourself. Again, we are in acro mode. It is fully manual. We're in control of everything. So let's go ahead and turn on the drone. And I'll give you a quick example. Another another one. So let's go ahead and arm. And I'm going to show you a fail real quick. So I'm going to fail on purpose so you guys can see what happens if I do not correct the flip. So we're going to go up. See, the drone did not correct itself. Now I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do when you do a flip in acro mode. All right, let's go ahead and arm. And this time we're going to correct the flip. Let's go up. There you go. I had to correct for it. The computer's not doing it for me anymore. They're calling me. There we go. Now that you have flown in every mode and you feel confident flying your drone, line of sight, and you know the ins and outs, now it's time for the funnest part. It's time to fly this in FPV. Let me go ahead and show you the basic controls and functions of your goggles slash screen. All right, let's go ahead and start off by removing the top strap first. It is Velcro, so don't worry about that. Once you go ahead and push it through, now your goggles can turn into a screen. All right, so as you can see, there is five buttons up here. First one is your power slash recording. You always got to click and hold it, wait for your power on, and you can go ahead and let go. That button also has another function for recording. You just click it once and you'll see that little red recording button right there. After you have turned on your drone and you have installed your receiver antenna, now it's time to go ahead and look for that channel. The second button right next to the power is for searching. So you just click and hold it and it will do a search. Fat Shark 6, Fat Shark 6. We are connected. This next button up here, as you can see, is the menu button. So in, in, in case you want to increase the brightness on your monitor or the contrast, you just click it. There it is, we got brightness, we got contrast, we got color, and we got zoom 16 by nine, and then we got, uh, or, we, or you can factory reset it. And then these last two buttons up here are for your band and your channel. So if you want to adjust the channel or the band manually, you just do it with these buttons right here. And obviously check out here in your top left screen to make sure that you're on the correct one. The VR drone uses analog signal to transmit video to your goggles, and the analog signal operates on bands and frequencies so make sure that you're on the right one with your drone and your goggles all right now let's go ahead and take off fpv style so let's go and turn on the transmitter first make sure you hold it goggles next and then your drone now let's go ahead and make sure that we take off from a soft surface now let me go ahead and introduce you to the osd or better known as your on-screen display so let's go ahead and start from the left. As you can see on the left side, we've got the timer blinking. So as soon as you arm, the timer starts. And as soon as you disarm, the timer stops. That lets you know how long you've been flying for. And under that, we got RSSI, basically your signal strength. So you know when you're going too far. Right here in the middle, we have our modes. So right now we got level, horizon, and air mode. 
we're gonna stick to level mode right now. And under it, we have the name of the drone, the VR drone. Now, right here on the right, we got your channel. We are on Fat Track 6. On the right side of that, basically the frequency that it's on. And under that, that is your battery voltage. That is very important. This VR drone comes with the 1S LiPo battery, so you wanna make sure you start landing your drone at 3.5 volts. So when you're flying and you look to your bottom right and you see that number hit 3.5, that's when you know it's time to land. When you fully charge it, this is a high voltage battery. So when you plug in your drone for the first time, it should say 4.35. Now, if you want to adjust any settings on the drone, let me show you the stick command to enter them. As you can see, we have entered it and we have basically full control and adjustability of all the settings. Like VTX, shows the power, OSD, flight controller, PID, your rates, and then when you're done, you just save and exit. And now, let's actually go ahead and take this drone up in the air with FPV goggles. I personally recommend that you go ahead and sit down when you first start flying because it does get a little bit disorienting when you first start flying. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter first and then the goggles, or both at the same time. Now, let's go and power on the drone. Before I start flying, we're gonna go ahead and be applying the same principles that we did from our line of sight flying, but this time in FPV. The only difference is your perspective. Let's go ahead and arm, take off, and we're gonna fly slowly. You just wanna get a feel of the room. Don't be going fast, remember slow, make, go ahead and go slow and make small adjustments. You wanna feel the objects in front of you. Get close to them, kind of back up a little bit, just so you can get a, a, a feel of objects around you. So you know how close to get, how far to get. After you fly a little bit slow, then just go ahead and practice maneuvers like left to right. And then after a few batteries or a few laps, and you feel more comfortable, that's when you can go ahead and start going through small spaces like that. All right, now that we feel pretty comfortable, we're gonna go ahead and flip this over to horizon mode. Now we're in horizon mode. Okay, so same thing as level mode, but this time, if you go all the way forward on your right stick, the drone flips. We have basically unlocked flipping. And then now, once you feel really comfortable in both modes, we basically go to the hardest mode, which is air mode. There's no more self-stabilization. Everything is controlled manually by me. So that means I can do a flip and keep going. So when you're gonna go ahead and land, look for a soft space to land. Soft, clear space. So right now we got the rug. So let's just go ahead and gradually bring the thrower down. And then as soon as you touch the ground, disarm. Not a bad landing. Congratulations, you just learned how to fly FPV drones. Now go ahead and go out there and have as much fun as you can with your VR drone and apply the same skills towards bigger and more powerful drones. Welcome to the world of FPV. Remember, the sky's your limit up to 400 feet above ground level.